Welcome to a recording of the Mandian Advantage Digital Threat Monitoring Compromise Credentials Monitor. We're going to go through how to develop a monitor, what the alerts look like, and give you an idea of what some of the new features that are part of this release are going to be. As you can see, I'm already logged into Mandian Advantage and currently in my Digital Threat Monitoring component of Mandian Advantage, and you'll see right here the Compromise Credentials tile. By clicking on this from the Monitors tab, will open up the new workflow for generating a compromised credential monitor. As we get into the compromised credentials monitor, it's very straightforward and stepwise functionality designed to make it easy for you to generate these monitors. Simply start with create a base name for this monitor. Add a description. Make it so you understand what the monitor is. Click next. Here you will add your domain. One of the first things you want to do is think about the domains that you want to get your credential monitors for. As noted in the example, if you add test1.domain.com and test2.domain.com, you will get only monitors for those domains. If you add domain.com, you'll get alerts for that domain and all of the subdomains. So you get alerts for test1 and test2. So an example of mydomain.com, we could do something like altostrats.com, and that's going to give us a credential monitor for all subdomains associated with altostrat. You want to add a separate line for each domain. Clicking next allows us to then set up a section where we can optionally exclude specific subdomains. This is important if you want to say, create a separate monitor for high priority subdomains. Say we had a subdomain executives.altostrat.com. If we had this separate subdomain, we could exclude it from this monitor and then create a separate monitor just for executives.altostrat.com. So in this case, we've created the separate subdomain and it makes it very easy for us to then create separate monitors for some of those more high priority domains like administrative, executive, finance domains, that kind of thing. Or if you've got multiple subdomains for specific product lines or business unit. Clicking next allows us to get to the next step. This is another new optional component. It's, it's password policy. So every credential that is discovered, we can allow you to determine whether or not the password that has been discovered as part of the credential monitor alert met your password policy. So you have the ability to say, well, my password policy is a minimum of eight characters and a maximum of 20, and it must include at least one lower, one upper, one number, and one alphanumeric character. Clicking next allows us to go down to the notification delivery components. This is where we can say, okay, I would like to get an alert notification whenever new credentials are discovered by this monitor. So everything looking forward from the date of the monitor creation will generate an email notification for you. So you can say, send me an alert, a system where you're creating your main domain and then your executive domains. An example would be for altostrat.com in this case. We would not necessarily want them immediately, but for the executives.altostrat.com, we would want those to be sent immediately. So you can tick that box as well for that specific example. Lastly, another new feature is this backfill alerts. This is actually going to create historical alerts for up to the last 180 days associated with this domain. For the domains that we've created a monitor for, we can actually look backwards in time up to 180 days to see if there would have been any alerts generated based upon the data that we've collected already. Typically, these monitors only work moving forward. This will allow the monitor to ostensibly look backwards in time up to 180 days and generate alerts. As a warning, this will not automatically send you emails for those alerts, but it will create those alerts in your alerts tab in Digital Threat Monitor. So we could say backfill this for 180 days and simply click on create monitor. What that's going to do is it generates this new monitor and it gives you to the next step. So now the monitor is created. You have the ability now to verify the fact that you own this domain. And this is important because where we can automatically verify the domain, it's pretty straightforward. You can actually take this DNS code, put it as a text record in your DNS server, 
and this will verify that you own the domain. So as we look forward, this will allow us to do things like expose the hashes of passwords, expose the username information to you. This is incredibly important because it gets you to the point where you're actually able to get all of the information necessary in order to be able to respond to these. But even without this information, you'll be able to see if the passwords that have been leaked at the very least match the policies that you've said earlier. From here, you can just download the codes so you can upload them immediately or hand them off to your DNS admin. Or if you have rights to and access to your DNS server, you could just copy them and paste them in yourself. So with this is done, the monitor is now created and you'll see it in our monitors below. You could actually take a look at another monitor that has been created here so you can get an idea of what the monitors look like now in the system itself. So you can see here that we've changed the way the summary looks. You now have the name and the description, the created and modified dates, whether the monitor is active or not, whether email alerts are set to active or inactive or immediate or not, the monitor domains, the excluded subdomains, and then the password policies. And what's great is you can actually change these directly from here in the monitor itself by clicking on the pencil to edit or toggling the switch in order to activate or deactivate specific component. Now let's take a look at what some of those alerts look like in the new digital threat monitoring credentials component. So we're gonna filter on that monitor and pull up some of these alerts so you can get a better look at some of the other information that's associated there. When you click on that, it's gonna open up a new tab and we'll actually see the compromised credentials that were associated with this domain. So as you can see here, we've got the alert date, the service URL or the URL where it was found, the account associated with it. So this is the uh, account for a verified domain and you can actually see the accounts associated with this domain because we have completed verification in this case. You'll actually see whether or not the password that was found met your organization's password policy. And by clicking on this button here, you'll actually see the hashes of the passwords that were discovered. Lastly, as before, you can see and link directly off to the threat names that are associated with these discoveries. I certainly hope this helps you understand the updates to the credential monitoring components of Mandy and Advantage Digital Threat Monitoring. Thank you very much and have a great day.